blowing across Nigeria is the wind of hope as Africa's young entrepreneurs with the same dream take a break from their everyday lives and embark on a journey across the nation with their ideas, innovations, and inventions. From the east, west, north, and south of Nigeria, we will witness as they make their way through the screening and auditioning to meet and convince the AYE judges why they should be among the chosen beneficiaries. You can't come and speak to a panel of investors and say there's a whole lot of choices. You need to be as strong as you are technically with what you want. No, 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 I'm coming. This no. is new idea and new business. But it, you don't really have a very strong structure of how you see your vision practically moving forward. You know, you know it feels very loose to me. I think you should have sat with them before you come here. If you invest in that business today, you're not coming in to, to make mistakes. We will experience their passion. So I want to feed African as a nation. Their pain. Get out of here. And their gain. Hey, why you give you a lot of customers. You cater for them, I will give you money up front. You'll be able to buy all your equipment. Welcome to Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Reality TV Show, AYE. I am Joy Michael. Entrepreneurship is not about looking the part, but knowing the part. On this episode today, we will meet Omar Tenadjuri, an agropreneur and lawyer who is seeking for a grant to grow more crop variety. Does she know her part? We'll find out. Um, I'm expecting, I'm expecting success. I'm expecting to um, get what I desire to be given to me, and and I'm being hopeful, actually. First up on this episode is crop farmer Owana Tedui, who currently farms in Port Harcourt and seeks a 10 million naira grant to expand her farmland. My name is Owana Tedui. I'm from River State. Uh, my farm actually is um, located in Port Harcourt, the outskirts of um, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. And this is just the samples from my farm. And um, by the way, this is how we dress. <laughs> this is how I dress when I go to the farm. Yes. And um, this is um, Pepe from the farm, directly plucked from the farm. And as you can see, some peppers are already germinating. Here, we have some germinating. Easy. And um, here is uh, planting soccer, directly from the farm. I have a farmhouse in the farm as well. Crop production is the most intricate enterprise in the entire agricultural industry. It employs nearly two-thirds of Nigeria's labor force and is projected to grow at an average annual rate of 3.31%. Virtually all crop farmers live below the poverty line due to their farming practices. In order to revolutionize this industry, it is crucial for farmers to acquire knowledge about agronomy, environmental factors, and the application of new farming technology. How big is your farm? Uh, the farm is 200 by 200. That's four plots. And four plots? Yes, four plots. That's small. That's yes, that's small. that's small. And that's the reason why the garden? I went. <laughs> well, and you plant all these? Yes, I, 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 I do. You know, on I the same? On the same farm. A yes. garden? It's, that's four it's plots not a land. garden. <laughs> and that's the reason why I actually um, um, went a, a grant from AYE to expand the, the farm because I, I get a lot of um, challenges where um, the, the water leaf, actually, the water leaf takes three weeks to, to germinate. It takes three weeks to germinate, and most times I don't have enough of it because of um, how small it is, the farm um, contains, and um, I have a lot of demands. That's one of the challenges. I have a lot of demands from um, customers, and I just have few water leaves to offer to them 
and I would, I would really need this, this grant from AYE to expand the farm. I have cassava now on the farm. It's not ripe for harvest. I, um, I should have a sample of the cassava here. I please, guess it's not, don't worry, it's not out of the luggage, yes. <laughs> so yes, and the cassava, it's, it's just um, eight months old and it's supposed to be, supposed to last for like okay, um, let's do this. one let's year. Let's do this, Diri, let's do this. Let's go to the basics, right? Okay, okay. The farm is four plots? Four plots, yes. You need how much? I need 10 million. To expand? To expand. Let's talk about the expansion. Yes. Space? Space, some machineries, equipment. Have you seen this space? Yes, I have. Where? Actually in Choba. In the same location? The same location. How close is it to the current farm? It's very close to the farm. How long have you been a farmer? Um, for um, nine months. Nine months? Yes. So my question is, how many harvests have you had? Okay, for now, like I said earlier on, the cassava takes about a year plus. So but how, how many harvests have you <laughs> had? I've had, since um, January, I've had like nine. You've harvested nine times? Nine times, yes. Of what? Which of crop? crop? In terms, no, for, for the, for the um, water leaf, I've had about, um, say, 50 times harvest. That's for the water leaf. Same goes with the um, Sorry, um, fluted. Sorry, you want to put the oil down? I feel like you're going to hurt yourself or something. Uh, no, I'm... I'm you're a farmer, you? <laughs> well, you're a nine-month-old farmer, I'm not too sure. No. I'm just worried I've, about people I've, asking I, for money with a weapon. <laughs> I've been, yeah. I'd like to know it, what you did before the farm. Okay. Um, after law school, I'm a barrister, by the way. After law oh, school... Oh, wow, you're a lawyer. Yes. Okay, so, fancy. Yes. <laughs> the lawyer. Yeah, so, challenge. after law school, I, um, I needed to do something outside that for... Um, for money because I went around looking for um, a chamber where I can attach myself to, to no avail. So I had to open a shop. I have another shop outside from this, yeah. And I do deal on drinks, wholesale, yes. And my shop is located in Amadi. So um, I needed something um, to add to, to it as well because I was actually enjoying the entrepreneurship thing. So I had to um, rent a farm to add to it. Do yes. You? yes. I'm not getting something which is very, very important and I have to be very frank with you, okay? Yes. Doing a farming of four plant, plots of land with all these, you've mentioned about five or yeah. six crops on the same place. Yeah. You have not told us how you align them together. Maybe you plant cassava, I don't know how you do that. And you have harvest more than five times, six times yes. within nine months. Yeah. And I'm not sure that you have never used this O on the ground before. <laughs> no, no. I have. If I haven't, I will. Can you demonstrate here. how they normally use O? <laughs> like this. Like. So, 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 so I'm it's just it's actually dead. <laughs> <it too. laughs> I don't lie. Yeah. And, I, and I was it's, surprised it's, it's I don't cut last. Is it? No, I'm going somewhere. I'm going yeah. to land somewhere. Yeah. No, you don't use cutlass at all. We do use cutlass. I had to come you with. We do use or you. I you do use cutlass. I, do. I have workers. I do use. So what's your role in the farm? Of course, I go to the farm. I work in the farm as well. I have vests. I've done some harvest in the farm. Mm. I've weed grasses in the farm. So how long I've done does a lot it take of things. You to harvest a, a plantain. That uh, how long? If you That's, plant, you know this uh, plantain. Yeah. The plantain. Yeah. It takes. How long? It takes. It takes. This is not the plant. This is just um, the soccer. And the soccer, the soccer. No, to grow and to harvest. Yes. For this, this has lasted one year in the farm already. No. So the, what was the farm in existence before you took it over? Or, cause As for the plantain itself, it's been in the land. I bought it together. You bought the Yes, land. Oh, you bought the, the plantain, land. yes, okay. with it. But for the cassava and okay, that, I planted that. I planted that. I've had, how much did you buy that farm? I actually got the land for rentage at first. And then later on, that was last, um, last month, I bought the land. What? How much is that? I was, I was actually, the land was actually for rentage. I had to lease, I had to rent the land first for... Um, go inside, go take a dairy. deep breath. Dairy. Go yes. take a deep breath, no. just go take a deep breath, put down the O, if <laughs> possible remove the cap. Okay, okay. okay. Well done. A barrister, drink wholesaler, and now a farmer. But when I tell the rich story doesn't seem to add up. She's a farmer. 
No, she's not. She's an entrepreneur. She's trying she's, her hand. She, 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 she yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. She, she should go back and she practice. She wants to farm. No, she Wait, doesn't. let me try she to figure out what she's trying to do. She should go back and practice. Like, I can't employ my photographer. Do you know you know, are you, <laughs> are you <laughs> serious? You know, let her go back and practice law. I'm no, but are you serious? I'm looking for lawyers in my photocot office, so she go back and practice law. Jenny, <laughs> is, Jenny is not you a farmer. You know, because... You know why? Hmm? She said something. After the law school, looking for a job, yes. no job, yes. she's able to have a shop. Mm. And after the shop now, it's agriculture because everybody is talking about agriculture. Yeah. That's the she, best she way to on to the next thing very soon. Yeah. To make this happen, if you go to agriculture, you can easily, you know, and being a woman, you can easily, you know, whoop a sentiment from the, you know, you can see the way she's laughing. I was like, I think maybe we should be seeing <laughs> one, one, one species of business in a day, <laughs> so that we can, you know, that because now this has just taught, somehow she's a farmer or she has a passion for agriculture. Mm. No, I don't or know. is it because I'm impressed about? You mean women for me? No, That's what I'm saying. Sumi, she's not a farmer. She's, she's not a farmer. She's a lawyer. She's well, you see, she's a lawyer a to get. You she's know, when you see a farmer, you don't even need to dress and demonstrate. I would know. Look at the guy that came that day. You can see from something that I am a farmer. Go to feed the thing. nation. But she is saying, you can see the, the, you want to plant over five different kind of uh, crops on the same land. And nine months to your leasing. I think let's just get clarity from if she wants a job, which she has an opportunity right now, or if she wants to um, get into farming. And if she wants to get into farming, I think we can merge with a proper farmer. Farmer. Yeah. Yes. Your 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 surname is Owanate. No, that's my first name. Okay. My surname is Diri. Owanate. What does Owanate mean? God has heard our prayers. Hmm. Hmm. May God hear prayers today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you have two choices right in front of you. Okay. And this was based on what you have displayed here to, to, today. Okay. Um, from your business expression, intellectual expression, experience, and frustration. On these four um, things that I've just stated out, you have in front of you a job offer back as a lawyer or an opportunity to be merged with a farmer. There is no 10 million among the options. Are you going to refuse the offers or take one of the offers? Wow, that's a, tough a job offer in Portacourt as a lawyer where you go back to work? I'm, I'm practicing. I'm a practicing. I'm lawyer. practicing. Yes, I'm practicing. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no. I don't understand if, anymore. Just because I'm practicing doesn't mean doesn't I can't mean have something be by the side. Yeah. No, no, think, listen. listen. No, listen, listen, listen. Because it's not against the rules uh, of no, professional you, listen, conduct. No, no, listen. No, mm -mm. no, let, let's not even go into that. Lawyer versus lawyer. I like the, this. No, the issue is, <laughs> yes. you've come here to ask for 10 million now. Yes. If anybody's going to give you that money, the yes. lesson is to... First of all, this is not this is Nigeria of today. Yes. Not Nigeria of a few years ago, where yes. 10 million naira was something you could find under someone's yes. bed. So if anyone's gonna give you 10 million naira, the person needs to understand that you are not gonna be off to the next thing anytime soon. You started off as a lawyer, and I'm sure looking at you, maybe you finished law school one, two years ago. Am I correct? Exactly. So you didn't need to, I'm sure maybe we were called 2016. I was called 2015. 2015. Yes. Okay. So you did NYSC 2016, yes. right? So basically three, four years at the bar. In four years, you've done practicing of law. You opened a shop. You've also started agriculture. It's a, it's, it's a problem because it means that if this does not work, you could get in, you could just move to the next thing. So. I, no. You can, and again, for what I know as a lawyer, it's yeah. almost very difficult, if not impossible, for you to do two things full time. No, it's not. It's not difficult. I have, I have time. I have time to measure. So that. when you say you're because practicing, if, what does that was, mean? You have clients? Yes, I have clients. I'm attached to a chambers, actually. I'm attached wait, wait, wait. To wait. You're attached to a chambers. So yes. you earn a salary from a chambers already? 
It's, oh. um, yes, I earn a salary. But you told us in the very beginning that you couldn't find a job with a chambers, did she? Well, you're a I good just, lawyer, eh? I just Because got... we can only even find a way to trap you. No! I've been looking for a way to, to before, hook you. Uh, before then, I when I said, before be then, when I said I don't lawyer. have, I just recently got attached to a chamber. No, you didn't tell us that. And you told, recently just you bought a land? Land and let them listen. Guys, now yeah. bought it back again. again. No, you didn't. Oh, actually, I was At practicing. The same two no, no. And then three I wasn't stories sure. about the land. One was I bought it. One was I rented it. No, then I wasn't you bought sure. I was no, I wasn't no, asked I if I was. Practicing. If there's anything you should take out of this today, yes. dearie, you are a good lawyer. You are slippery. No. I cannot <laughs> get you. I no, can't catch you. Probably I didn't mention that I'm practicing. I did not mention okay, so it. When, I only what, said what, I when leave the land, but I didn't go when, when down that day. When did you get this job? I got the job three months ago. So you're but doing... As of when I applied for AYE this, I, I was not practicing. I was I, not into active practice. Could you let me say something? Yes. Okay, thank you. You got this job three months ago? Yes. So is it a full-time job? It's not a full-time job. So how often do That's you That's why there? I have time, because I have time to go to the shop, and I have time to go to the farm. But the shop and is still in existence. At, yes, it's still in existence. It's at Amadi. I have my, um, my card, my complimentary card, if you want to see. The shop is still in existence. I have a worker there in the shop, and I have someone taking care of the farm. I go to the farm whenever I, I, I need to do some supplies, whenever I need to plant some things. I, I can handle you know it. I know. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done also. I, I think you would do well. I know you'll do well. Yeah. I, I don't plant one thing in, in need. Mm. I, I love, I, I love spreading. That's one thing about me. Yeah. I'm determined. So you see, with people like that, it, it's good to spread, but the problem is you're spread full time into in, in different things. So far gone. You know, and, and, and I think that's why I struggle. I was so. able to take care of the, the, the shop. I was able to take care of the shop for two years before going into farming. And I'm into this. For, um, for a while now, and I'm still merging all together, the farm, the shop, and my practice. I believe you can something. do all of those things. Yeah. I, what I, I don't I totally like is that you weren't it. clear with us, and that put me yeah, dead off. Yeah. You will do fine, and you can do all the things in the world you want to do, but I don't feel like I want to invest in you at all. Yeah. I, I don't, but I like you, and you'll so, go far. You know, what I, my advice to you is... We've given us so many advice. When you sit with investors, <laughs> huh? Your investors need to be confident that you're focused. I don't think you are. I think you're doing too many things at the same time. And I think if I'm going to part with 10 million Naira, I, I need to back someone that I know that is focused on that one thing. Mm. And I think Thank that's you what you need so to much. declare with your investors next time. It's a lesson. It's a, you've done well, but going forward, that's what you should pitch to investors. Don't tell, don't tell us you're a lawyer, you have a shop, you're doing farming, I need Tim to expand farming. It's just, it's just everywhere. You know, coupled with the fact that there, there were some misrepresentations, you bought a land, you rented, you did it's just, it, it, it doesn't speak too well. So with that, I'm out. Can't you give me a second chance? Thank you, then. No. Okay. Thank you. The judges are obviously disappointed at Owana Tedori as she goes home with no financial support for her farm. I was a bit nervous, very nervous. <laughs> I missed um, one or two lines. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it went well. At least I had to do what I had to do. And uh, I'm grateful, yeah. My name is Ifeo Luola Tayo. I applied for the IN program in 2017. So initially, I got to um, hear about IM from a friend who got a grant in 2015. And then I applied 2016. Unfortunately, I wasn't selected. But of course, that's what the life of an entrepreneur is. You pick yourself up. Then I reapplied. In 2017, I was selected. And uh, we got a congratulatory letter. We, were, we did the graduation in December, November, thereabout. And we were told to wait to get the grant, you know processing and all that. Okay, so when I met with the international judges on that day, I wasn't scared, but of course that excitement would make you 
want to just you know you're not sure if you're saying the right thing or if you're really they are really catching your point but the, the truth was it's my business I've been doing it over a period of five years step close to seven years now so what is it that I won't be able to tell them and it was good that you know you had people to listen to you to tell you well you're wrong with these numbers you need to check up this again and you know, just getting feedback from them and having them listen to you was really exciting your product is nice and you can sell on that note we have no excuse but to support you well i wanted Seriously, I wasn't expecting the alert. And then I got the alert. I was just staring at my phone. I did not know what to say. <laughs> Getting this support, I'm really, really happy. It's really exciting. And I can't just wait to get back to work and you know, execute what I got the ground. I want to say a big thank you to Ian. It's not everybody who has such a vision like this to help out Nigerian entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs all around the world that really keep at it. But it's a laudable project and I wish so much best for this for Ayin. And I also want to say I am now an alumnus. So by the time we blow, we should also remember coming back here to give so that young entrepreneurs would also benefit from this laudable project. African young entrepreneurs. In my view, this is one of the most innovative ideas coming out of Africa because it addresses perhaps the most crucial issue in African economic development, which is how to leverage on knowledge, creativity and innovation to leapfrog ahead or at least to be at par with many of the developed economies within the shortest possible time. The evidence shows that the dramatic Asian economic turnaround of the last two decades was the result of entrepreneurial innovation and creativity within an incrementally conducive business environment. So the role of government and its regulatory agencies is also important, especially in ensuring ease of doing business and providing incentives for entrepreneurial activity. The Nigerian government is committed to playing this role actively, and this is why we fully identify with and encourage AYA's objectives. Meet Dr. Daniel. He is here representing the founder of a new digital platform that provides medical advisory services to Nigerians. My name is Dr. Lawale Princewill. I'm a doctor of homeopathy. I studied um, natural medicine. I'm a lecturer at the Lagos State College of Health, where I lecture basic science, medical sciences, like biochemistry and uh, microbiology, and I also lecture homeopathy also in Lagos State College of Health. I happen also to be the sales and marketing manager for One Dokita Healthcare Limited. And I'm here standing representing Dr. Daniel, which is the founder of One Dokita Healthcare Limited. Now basically what we do in One, uh, uh, One Dokita is that we try to make sure that everybody in Nigeria have access to healthcare. Because currently there are more than 45 HMOs in this country and of those 45 HMOs present in this country, they have not been able to cover the majority of Nigerians. We have more than 192 million Nigerians in this country and 150 of them still don't have access to healthcare. And we have 45 HMOs. And more so because the uh, capital per head in this country is low, the expenditure is $6 per head. And this is very, very bad. It means that I'm um, having about 1,500 person in a year. Across 195 African countries, Nigeria ranks 148th position in terms of personal access to quality health care. To meet up with the WHO's Health for All agenda, various reforms have been put forward by the government, but unfortunately are yet to be implemented at the state and local government levels. As a result, the vast majority of Nigerians cannot access health care because it is either not available or too expensive for them. 
So now at one docketer, what we do is that we provide an helpline card. With this helpline card, you can be able to call, talk to a doctor, or if you are smartphone inclined, you can be able to chat with a doctor without you necessarily leaving your main location. So it means that healthcare is not just when you walk to the clinic now. It is when you have either a smartphone or a handheld phone that you can use to make a call. So currently, Nigeria has about 101 um, uh, penetration rate for mobile phones and 35% for smartphones. So we have this market that majority of Nigerians are actually using, if not a smartphone, an handheld phone that they can easily call for help. I can give an example. In um, about a time ago, when Nigeria was hit with Ebola, about 13 people died of that situation. But that was the official record for those people who died alongside that situation. But outside that, there are about 20 to 25 people who died as a result of misinformation. They were bathing with um, salt water and this and that. But if they had the right access to the right information, that could be quenched. So these are the situations we are looking into, how people can get proper Is access. it running, this yeah. business? When did you guys start running? We started in 2017. So is it subscription based? Yeah, it's subscription based a month. How much? A thousand naira per month. A thousand how many clients do you have currently? Currently, we have about 500 in Lagos. You guys are in Lagos? Yes, sir. How many doctors on your network? Yeah, we have about 1,000 doctors on our network. 1,000 doctors? Yes, sir. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. I'm about sure. 24 hours? Yeah, 24 hours, sir. So what do you guys need? So we need expansion. We want to expand. We want to scale. We want to meet the demands of Nigerians. Nigerians are crying. They need people who cannot just talk to them but can assess their situation. The other thing we do is that we collect data together due to people that we have talked with and we can be able to project in the future that, oh, in the next five years, these are the things that will happen in health. Expansion, ah, what kind of expansion? So the expansion means that we want to cover the whole Nigeria. What do you need for the expansion? So we need a sum of 50 million. One of the beauty of online businesses is that it's easy to set up, easy to make money, and easy to operate. You're already doing those three things. You now wanted 50 million. We, we, currently, we currently have a, um, a, a, a Recalo um, sort of program that redirects your call during, um, during when we are not around. So for example, if there's a public holiday and- Who's asking you about public holidays? I'm just trying to explain the um, setup of the machine that can, as, uh, that can um, assess the whole Nigeria. There's a machine that we need to set up and this machine costs a lot. That's it's, for public holidays, but you have a thousand doctors. Surely someone can be on call. Yeah, a thousand doctors, this is how it works. So when you call us, and when you talk to us, and want to see that, oh, you need a urgent referrer, we ask you your nearest location. If you tell us your nearest location, we can always refer you to the nearest hospital. Okay, now let's get it clear, clearly now. Do you guys just give medical advisory or you, you treat the patient? If the patient needs a treatment, then we send the patient for referral. To, to the to hospital. Where? So the hospital still does the work. So medical advisory is good. What you are doing e health is what Africa and the United Nations has been promoting currently. So it's very good. And prescriptions, do you guys give prescriptions? Yeah, we give prescriptions. Based on that is counter, over the shelves, right? Yeah, over the shelf. Not schedule five or schedule three? As excluding, we only give um, prescriptions that require, if, if, your, if your drug, requires a doctor's pre prescription. We prescribe it and then But we clearly send... not a schedule five, right? No, it's not schedule five. Now let's go back to one thousand people servicing five hundred. That it does not even make any business sense. Ten doctors will service five hundred. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, according to Nigeria population, three doctors to ten thousand patients. It's really really sick. you are confusing your your company. Will no. ten doctors service five hundred patients or not? You are a doctor? Ten doctors, yes. Yes, that's what we are saying. So your model already with 1,000 doctors, with 500 customers is not, is where, is, this is the reason why you cannot save your 50 million. It sure doesn't look like Daniel's lucky day, as the judges disagree with his numbers. And I cannot be saying this to you because you're not the business owner, right? So I'll allow the other judges to say what they need to say to you before I just give you what I have in my mind or my message to your MD. How do you make money from this? Thank you, sir. So basically, we have a card of 
a thousand naira per month. So these people subscribe for a month and then we generate revenue from that. And also we generate revenues from referrals. Like for example, if a uh, client calls us, and this is this, this is this, and we've clocked that, oh, okay, you will need to go through this test. Once we send the patient to this pharmacy, or to this diagnosis center or the lab, then we get, refer we get a commission from that referral. So How we, do you track that? Yeah, because we have a, an application and also we have a website. So on this, our application, we can book appointment. You don't need, we just, once we talk to with you and then we book the appointment. So the appointment is booked with a doctor. So one, if you need a referral, it is just for us to send that data to the um, scan lab or the laboratory. So you are just walking in there to get your scan. It's How not long that has this business been in existence? It's been in existence for a year. It will be a year in October. Sir. How much have you made from year to date? Yeah, we've uh, successfully been able to get up to two million. When did the first person subscribe? So you've been going for one year. Is it one year since the first person subscribed? When did this, okay, we got our first um, uh, uh, crop of people this January, this January of 2018, because we started October and then we had to put. So when you refer thing. someone, the patient, do they then pay for whatever it is they've been referred to, whether it be a prescription, a scan, a whatever, diagnosis, what? It so once, we, once the patient is subscribed on our platform, they have access to a, a, a referral. So when you are going to the doctor, you are not necessarily paying any consultation fee and, or, or anything. Okay, but you get a cut from what? How does yes. the doctor make money? So the, she, what she, or he or she just has to pay for is the treatment of the... But the doctor, wait, how wait, does the doctor wait, make wait, money? Wait, wait. You don't pay the hospital where you are going anymore? No. What we do is provide an upline Yes, you see, your business model is clear. And it's not the first time of I personally investing in such a business. So it's clear. Medical advisory, and it's good. It's good for Africa. Africa yeah. But it can, it can scale up, it can grow by itself. You don't need this 50 million, that's what I'm saying. No. The more it grows, the more your clientele, the more you increase your doctors. But there's there's a, there's a little I can pour down to you because you are not the founder, you said, right? Yes. It's a brilliant idea. Don't misinterpret what you are saying right now. People can subscribe 11K uh, uh, a month and you can just pick up a phone, send a WhatsApp, or uh, uh, place a call, I've got this, what can I do? do. 24 hours, they respond to you. But when they refer you to a clinic, you pay for what yes. that hospital is doing. And it has a lot of value chain. They can refer you for blood samples, blood tests, those labs can also pay one well doctor. Yes. That's your model, right? Yes. Tell your CEO, MD, or founder that he can, AYE said, he can grow by himself. It only takes time. It should allow time. It's a good idea. Allow time, and you'll be shocked what will happen to one doctor. This platform has given you guys more exposure and expect more customers. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, sir. Daniel is indeed a good representative of the company, but he goes home with an advice to why time is all it takes to scale up his business. It's that time of year where thousands of entrepreneurs gather for one single convention. Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Empowerment Nigeria Iron Annual Convention is here again. Keynote speakers include Patrick Malumba of Kenya, Billy Tsilakani of South Africa, and of course, Volunsha Alakija of Nigeria. To register, visit www.in.ng. Iron 2018 Convention, Entrepreneurial Influence in Economic Development. Starting and running a business can be quite hectic, especially when it comes to business registrations, business plans, brand activations, market research, filling annual reports, marketing and advertising. Why don't you let us help you with all the above services and many more at Business Takeoff Services. We have everything your business needs. Since I will 
with the the interview inside there is not by my own make it's not by anything but it's by god's grace i think i will excel on my own make i do nothing but i believe god and i'm confident in what i have that is one thing and i'm confident in the innovation i brought after researching there is an innovation that i came up with that i know that nobody has have such kind of a thing and that is one thing that makes me unique that i know that when i go in there there must be something to drop on the table of the interviewers meet elizabeth okori an entrepreneur who is passionate about solving the problem of malnutrition among babies by processing soya beans. My name is Elizabeth Okore. I stay in Abuja. My marketplace is in my marketplace is in Abuja. Then my product name is I am the CEO of Merino Discovery Limited, registered with C C A C. Then my company, my business is new idea. It's a new, it's a new market, it's a new product, but not in the market, there are other ones. But my innovation, after research, make my business to be different from other people's own. Then my company, my company, my goose name, one is Shopmo, Shopmo Plantain. It's made plantain chips, it's made from raw plantain. The other one is of different sizes and different prices. Well, this one is is few good soya beans. That is the business, the business, the name of the product. Then few good soya beans is also of different of different packages. I have the one in the container. I have the one in the sachet of different sizes. What makes my business different from other? My business, first of all, my business come up to solve a lot of problems in the country within Niger, uh, both Nigeria and outside Nigeria, West Africa, even as nation as a large. When you talk of my business, my business, first of all, my business come up to create employment opportunity. My business come up to, 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 heal, to heal people that have different inherent and problems and diseases. My business also came up to eliminate my nutritional problem. A lot of people in Nigeria today, when I was researching, I find out that Many people today, especially children, has a lot of malnutrition. And in Nigeria, the, the, the crisis of the bushes is, is smaller than the crisis of the middlemen and the average men. I have to come out with something that whether you eat well or you do not eat well, while taking my product, you look good. Because everything you desire in all those things they are, they, the big men are eating is inside these products. Mm. The soya bean market is estimated at $40 billion. It is the most potentious and most affordable item in producing specially formulated foods for malnourished infants and children and will continue to expand in the international market. Nigeria is the largest producer of soya beans in Africa and the largest consumer as well. We have a domestic annual supply shortfall of about 100,000 tons of soya bean meal. This is a market opportunity for traders, investors, and entrepreneurs. When I was, when I, when I, when I, I, I took in the, my first son, I went to the hospital. When the, the nurses finished telling them, every time after they sensitize us, they will, they will come out with soya beans. They will brought soya beans and say, if you're a pregnant woman, you better buy soya beans. That soya beans is very good for pregnant women. And if your child is having any problem or malnutrition, that you should get soya beans for them to take. And I say, okay, every day, if every day we go to hospital, they keep on saying it. I begin to, I now begin to see the business that is in soya beans and plantain chips. Because I find out that the average, they say that, they say that the research show that each average children that are born in Nigeria, only in Nigeria alone, per annum is over 5 million children. Mm. And I said, this is a good business. I now begin to take the statistics of people that come to, that come to hospital in daily basis. Hospitals run from Monday to, Monday to Friday. And some days, the women will be above 100. Only pregnant women, no children. We are not talking of adults. We are not talking of the people that has maybe infrastructure or other things. And this product will take care of it. We are not talking of divorcees. A lot of people are ah, divorcing. Take care of divorcees also. Yes. How does it take what they can do? Okay. Can, my product will build repidos. Mm. Repidos, yeah. For who? Because of 
for men that have maybe low span cam, because of one thing, what the soya beans contain is what everything you can take, think of contain. It has cashew, it has, for, it's good for heart, that uh, it burns correct. I do get the feedback from a meme yeah. uh, <laughs> customer and yes, the, I how have, do they I, describe yes, how yes, it I works can, in I men? Can, Sir, I can give you evidence of this, what this product has done. For instance, first of all, when I was, when I put to bed, my, my child, after like six months, he refused sucking. And people told me that the only thing I can do is I should start giving the child the soya bean. That the soya beans, that the child will look healthy. This child cannot drink water or anything. When I started missing the soya beans on the child, the child looked healthy and okay. Not only that, when I'm giving the breastfeed, whenever I feel like eating something that makes my breast, I will, I will put this in the water, I will take it. Not only that, there was a woman that went to hospital. The child is having problem. Then the, the doctor say, ah, that they should minister soya beans for that child. And the woman came to me, I saw you at times, you are making soya beans you are eating. Please, can you give me soya beans? Let me go. I gave the woman soya beans. When they started taking it, like one week, and the woman now said, ah, this soya beans is very How can very we good. believe all these stories? This is one energetic entrepreneur. Well, talk they say is cheap. So the judges want to know the facts that backs up her claim. How can you believe all this story? Number one, look at me. I okay. take soya beans. I have three children. I'm still looking like this. That is the evidence of these days. People like to look young, younger than their age. Even nobody likes to become old or be fat. But soya beans help you to watch your weight. So let me ask you, are there medical studies that show all this as the effect of soya beans? Yeah, when I was, when I, when I went to my, yes. When I went no, to my... No, it's a yes or no question. I say yes. So there are medical studies that show that soya beans has this effect. Yes, it's very, very good and perfect. But even at that, <laughs> there's, there's one thing you can do because there's a way you will take these soya beans, it will still have inside effect on you. Mm. That is why I made sure that I made it that anybody that takes my product, we won't have any problem with it. That is one of the innovations. How did you do that? I do that by soya beans... Shh. Have... That's your secret. You say it. That's your secret. Okay. Don't tell us the secret to your okay. problem. So it was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, that's your, that's your Let's talk about what your business needs. <laughs> yes. What does your business need? I like my you. Business, my business and you have needs, the energy of an my, entrepreneur. My business needs funding. How much does How your much? business need? Initially, I feel 8,000, but when I went out for feasibility studies and other things, because I put to bed new return, yeah. everything was escalated, even times two. Even ah. the machine, I check to Philo, I so call how Philo. Much? How much? I, right how now, much? I need like 21 million naira. 221 million 21 naira. 21 million naira would be okay. For Before you fill 9 million. 9 million. No, now you need 21. 8 million. Yeah. Now you want how much? 21 million. So to do what? What would I say? One, do? I will use it because when I checked before, the some of the machines I, I saw that they told me that I can use like 1.5 or 2 million to, 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 for fabricating. Then after everything, they now gave me number of the one of the, the engineers. Then the man now told me, for you to start your soya beans, your soya beans, you have to, first of all, they have machine. One of the machines that is 4.5 million, you can keep like 4.5 million above for the machine that can crack this, then and they to, to, that can crack it and wash it, that I should put something for that. Then if I put that, then I will now, for, because my soya, one of the things I have is have fruit. That, the machine for fruit is about 3 point something million. That one, I, they didn't tell me that they can fabricate that one here. Then the one for soya, for plantain chips, they, they told me that, that one I can keep like 2.5 million. In order to, they told me that the one that produced this can produce 200 kg per 30 minutes. Each bag of soya beans is 50 kg. And that means to, four of it is, four of it is the 200 kg. So Where do you get your raw materials from? I get my raw materials, like the soya beans. We talk of Sokoto, we talk of- You go to Sokoto? Kano. I have contacts. I go to net. Mm. I talk to people. Even when I came to Ayo, the first time they called me, when I came, that, uh, that time the baby was small. I begin to, when I saw one of the Aosa guys, and I met the guy, he became my friend. I begin to tell the guy this, that he now said, okay, that even him, he can't okay, even so supply. you've got supply. 
Um, okay. Can you tell me, do you make more out of the chips or the soy powder? This is soya beans flour, it's powdered. It was seed, do but... Do you make more money from the chips? Or the... The or soya. The, or the soya. See, this is, this, is, this, this, is, this is a new... First of all, this is new idea and new business. And I've, when, when I research, oh. I found out that I can make money with these two things. While other judges are trying to make sense of the numbers, Tia has something to say. I do think you need to check out about soy, especially for babies. My understanding about soy is as an estrogen enhancer. So you do not want to give it to little boy babies and really men don't want to be eating it. I think you need to check that. Now, I told you that this product increases lipidos. Is, is there any woman have lipidos? Rose Frank Ham. There's no woman that has such. It's men. Taking up the soya beans. Okay, Elizabeth, yes, okay, sir. what I think, I think a few things you need to do. You, you're making a lot of medical proclamations. Say, no, listen, listen, listen. I understand your you're very passionate about your business. You, you seem to have a good grasp of what you're trying to do. But you see, when people in this area make certain declarations about what their products can do, it's good to always have it medically validated. So you need to be sure that when you say soya beans can do this, it can do this. You need to be sure that when you say it cannot do this, it cannot do this. The second thing is, this is food. Yeah. Do you have... NAVDAC registrations? She can't get I'm it coming, now until sir. she... I want to answer that. Oh. You told me, I told you that immediately this thing was produced, I, I processed it, it's a new idea. And I went to incubation center. I took it to them, they gave me form. Because when I went to NAVDAC, they said that to hasten everything, I have to go to incubation center. And I went there. After everything, they gave me form. They told me that it's only for me to fill the form then my name will be in the database. So that when I come back, they will have said it, then I should go to trademark. The trademark, they will help me, there's a form too, they will start processing something before I, before I come back so that they will do something. Then I've taken a steps. I went to all these people, even before coming to this place. And when they brought it, because they brought it, they asked me question and answer. They asked me how the analysis and everything I answered. And I told them that this product they are seeing, they now ask me how many that I know all those things. I said, according to the research. First of all, according to the research that it, they made us Research that who made? Who made yeah, which research? Andrew, Andrew, uh, Andrew something. Go and think about his then, name. I'll call you back in one minute. I want to know who made that research. I'll give you one minute. A research is as good as its source. Elizabeth has to put a name to her claims. I, for me, I think this is somebody out. I, I think she's passionate. Yeah. I just think that she's, she's properly she's, guided. She's, she, she, she's hard working. She's, she has no, gone up and she, down. She, she, she she's is. the ideal. She's, the, you know, she's the person that you, you put money behind. Yeah. And I love the, this the, place. The energy, the energy is admirable. And she's is done. It worth and she's done a lot of work. I think the only thing for me is ensure that whatever she's saying is medically validated. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty then, sure you can't give that to babies. So that, that's that. That for me. If I'm, gonna, if I'm going to work with her, that's going to be my. Bomb, that's going to be bomb, my condition. From nine million need, to twenty-one million. To, no, no, uh. forget about that. See, two of the matter is, people like this. Again, you you, need, you don't need twenty-one million at once. Yeah, that's that's number one. Yeah. Number two is again, with an opinions like this, twenty-one million might become fifteen million at some point in time. By the time you strip out certain things <laughs> and all that, you know, the, the lady wants to cash out, so she's done a few things, but. What I like is, she's done well with the packaging. Of course, it needs some improvements with the packaging. But I think if what she's saying is true, there's a big market for this. It's very big. There's a big market for this. There's a contradiction to what she's saying already. But that's what I'm saying. See, for me, for me to do this, I have to ensure that it's medically validated. Yeah, I'm, I like her and all that stuff. I'm, I'm really concerned about the research. I'm really concerned about the research. I hope that can be proved. I mean, you take soy products when you're menopausal to increase your estrogen that you're losing. Okay. That's not something. Yeah. And we already live in an over estrogenized environment. Every plastic, every bit of pollution, every pesticide we eat increases female hormones. That's why there's fertility mm -hmm. issues on the planet. And on you don't a, want to add to it with and soy. And on a purely commercial basis, 
there's a market for this product even if it's not babies and men. True. So, True. so commercially, people it's still a good want business. soy. It's a good probably. business, Flour. no, no yeah. doubt. So, yeah. you know. But you don't I, want to be pushing it on new mothers. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a good business. business. Let's bring it out. What's his name? The name should be B Y R U A N. No more Andrew. I can't. No, there's Andrew behind. Then the other one should be the. I think he should be the father name or something like that. B Y B uh, B Y D B Y D R U A N something like that because I can't. Where is this person when from? I'm, is a is, is U.S. because this product where it come from is Asian country. From there, they were using it. Some people eat it. Then they started using it even to minister to animals, to give it, administer it to animals. From there, it become food for everybody. People started eating it, and it's working wonders because anybody that take anywhere you go, they will tell you about soya beans, soya beans. And one good thing about this is that when you take this, you don't need to suffer yourself to look for what and do like tea now. Like somebody that uses a milk, we, this, that, that. We hear you. You are very confident <laughs> in this product. You have so much confidence in this product. But how will you feel if you have so much confidence in something that is wrong? This is not wrong. This product, I, I believe in my product. I believe in my innovation. She I believe in my wrong. research. She, said, it's good what you're trying. I, I like you. That you're very passionate and all that. But I thought you would walk in here with some medical validation to say, okay, XYZ studies were conducted on my product or on soya beans, yeah. and this is it. But if you come here and say you've used it, who knows what you've used again that, make, that made you look like this? Mm, no. Okay, in conclusion, I... you're a hardworking entrepreneur, you're passionate, and you're confident. We would sponsor your research first to go and do more research and get more facts about this product. Once that is done, you have the support of so many other judges, most especially Mr. Oyemo Are you happy with that? Yes, so go back and let us know where and where you want to visit and what, to make, what you need to do this research properly. And we'll send the money to you immediately. You, you don't need to say anything more, please. Okay, okay? Don't worry. Just, just go and do no, that. Do you want to say something point. else? Do you want to say something else? No. Do you want to say something else? No, I wanted to ask. You said that I should go back yes. and research. Yeah. And research more of it. Yeah. I wanted to. Medical benefits and medical hazards. Yeah. Can yes, I, can do you take this offer, this deal, yes or no? Do I do what? Do you take what I've offered you right now? Yes or no? Yes. No, you don't want it. I pull it back. I withdraw it. As, no, I didn't thank you so much no, for coming. Sir. No, sir. I said thank you, sir. I have withdrawn it. I said thank you, sir. Despite the change in her starting capital and the uncertainty of the product, the judges would give Elizabeth a chance to validate her product. But she doesn't seem too happy with that decision. No, I'm sorry. You have lost your chance. Thank you so much for coming. I said thank you, sir. Kelechi is an entrepreneur with a vision to infuse Scrabble into the educational system in Nigeria. His Scrabble to School initiative is aimed at providing Scrabble lessons to schools across Nigeria. He currently has 40 schools on board with his program, but needs 2 million naira to further promote his business to have more schools on board. I like it. I, I just think you need a lot of mentoring. And even with funding, you need to you need to sit down and really analyze what you need and how we're going to fund it. Thank Are you, you satisfied? Sir. I'm fine. I'd like to work with both of them. Thank you so much for coming. Although there were errors in his numbers, the judges were impressed by his presentation and he walks away with a business mentor. Oh, 
I'm very confident. I'm very confident. I know I'm going to do well. I know I'm going to do well. I'm prepared for this interview. I'm ready. Jumoke is a young entrepreneur with a passion for cooking. She specializes in local dishes like ewagoi and ofada rice. The outspoken entrepreneur thrilled the judges with her marketing skills, presentation skills, and the taste of her food. Jumoke needs a 10 million naira business fund to establish a local dish restaurant in Abuja. You don't need the app, you don't need websites, your social media pages can do all those minor ones. Yes, of course. And uh, we can always um, open up a kitchen. All right, sir. In that same location. All right, sir. Thank you so much for coming. Thank Thanks. you very much, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. After deliberations, the judges concluded that she should be supported. Next on Africa's Young Entrepreneurs. Pick up the call and tell the person where you are right now. That's my wife. Hello, how it's going? Hi, baby. Uh, hey, we're on light, light TV right now. Oh, yeah. oh, hold on. The lady here wants to say hi so to you. Investor. We're just in the middle of judging your husband. Yeah, and you just called. What, what, are, what are three words you would say to describe his character as a businessman? 